Hello, this is Matthew Purse for Siemens Motion Control. If you've used Motion Scout before, you might have noticed this message. You cannot connect to the target device. In this video tip and trick, we'll go over how you can set up your computer and how you can set up Scout so you can get connected with Simotion. The first thing we'd want to do is click on Accessible Nodes. What Accessible Nodes does is it pulls the network to see what devices are connected to it. Now, as you can see here, it did not find anything. And that's because in Scout, we do need to specify what network card we're using to talk to Simotion. You can set that up by clicking on PGPC. This brings up your PGPC interface dialog. Uh, at the top, you can select the access path. When we're dealing with Simotion, there's going to be uh, two that you're mainly going to work with. It's going to be device or S7 online. A device connection is just to talk to some motion, and that's it, point to point. S7 Online is meant to go through a network, and uh, S7 Online is the type of connection you need in order to talk to Synamics Integrated and some motion. So, in this video, we'll use a S7 Online connection. And now, down here in the uh, interface parameter, I'm going to select the network card that I'm using, which is this one. So, I'll hit OK. And finally, I'll click on the access point button and select S7 online. Now, when I hit update, it should be able to pull the network using that network card and be able to find my device. Okay, so uh, you can see up here that it did find uh, a device with an IP address. It gave me uh, this um, message saying that, well, it basically says that the device is on a different subnet than what your computer is set up for. Do you want me to add this exception? Uh, let's say no, and let's go ahead and set up our computer so uh, we can be on a static IP to talk to Simotion. Uh, you can do that by going to your network icon, right-clicking and saying open network connections. You can find your network card, right-click, and go to properties. Scroll down to Internet Protocol. This might show up as IPv4 for you. Um, select Properties. And you can see right now we're set up for a automatic IP address assignment. And instead, let's use a static IP by clicking on that button and typing in an IP address that's in the same subnet as this. So I'll say 192, oops, 192, 168. 214123. We'll hit OK and close. And let's go ahead and hit update one more time. And now that we're on the same subnet as Simotion, I can get more information than what I previously had. So you'll see that the icon has changed. Um, while it has provided me with the same IP address name, etc., I can drill down and I can get information about my Synamics Integrated now. I could even pull this into my project and uh, be able to upload and get all my drive information. What I would want you to do here is write down this, the S7 subnet ID. Uh, and this is uh, for your Profibus Integrated. So for me it's uh, 0084 zero zero two F. Okay. Uh, next what we'll need to do is we'll need to go into our hardware config and we'll need to modify it to match uh, that subnet ID and to make sure our port is set up for that IP address. So you enter the hardware config by double clicking on the D435. And we'll give that a second to load. Okay. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the port that you're connected to. I happen to be connected to port X130. Just double click on that and we want to make sure that this address matches what it actually is. So for me that 2 should become a 214. So we can click on properties and I'll make it 192.168.214.1 and on subnet I'm going to select new and that's a way of indicating to Scout that I intend to uh, connect through this port. 
All right, so we hit OK there. And we're going to right click here on our Profibus integrated, go to Object Properties, hit Properties one more time. And here on our S7 subnet ID, we're going to go ahead and enter what Accessible Nodes told us 0084002F for me. All right, so I hit OK and we'll save and compile. All right, so we can close that. And as a final thing, I want to right click on my D435, go to properties, click on set S7 online addresses, click on the addresses tab, and I want to make sure that I'm uh, selecting the correct port for which I'm connected to. So for me, it's at 192.168.214.1. I'll hit OK and OK and hit go online. And voila, I am connected to my D435 and it's Synamics integrated. At this point, you can upload whatever project's in there or you can download whatever project you had offline. And so that should be about it for getting online with some motion. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions about this video or if you have suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. This is Matthew Purse for Siemens Motion Control. Thank you so much for watching.